Blender can be one of the most resource-intensive applications on your device, given the infinite number of scenes and simulations that you can create using this software. But does this mean that you should only use Blender for desktop PCs, or is there scope to use a tool like Blender on a potentially less powerful laptop? In this video, we're going to explore the capabilities of using a laptop as your primary device for Blender and what you should know before diving in. First, let's talk about compatibility. Blender 3D can be used on any device with a Windows, Linux, or Mac OS operating systems, including desktop PCs, portable laptops, and even specific tablet models. The only thing to note for laptop users is the lack of a 3-button mouse and lower hardware specifications which can influence how effective they can be with Blender software. So can any laptop run Blender on it? The short answer is yes, as long as the device you are using has an operation system that can run the Blender software on it, your device should at least be able to open Blender as an application and perform basic tasks such as 3 3D viewport navigation and low poly modeling workflows. But before you begin to use Blender or even attempt to use Blender on your portable laptop, there are few recommendations to keep in mind. First, it's important to understand the hardware requirements for Blender. The minimum and the recommended requirements for using the Blender software are the same regardless of you are using a portable laptop or a large desktop PC. You can view the requirement by visiting the blender.org website. So the minimum requirement specs are having 64-bit quad-core CPU, 8 gigabits of RAM, a full HD display, mouse, trackpad or even pen and tablet for navigation, graphics card with 2 gigabits of RAM and OpenGL 4.3 and above. Now for the recommended requirement, you would need a 64-bit 8-core CPU, 32 gigabits of RAM, a 1440p display with high color gambit, and 3 button mouse or pen and tablet, and a graphic card with 8 gigabits of VRAM. Another important consideration is peripherals. With more recent versions of the Blender software, it is entirely possible to navigate the Blender interface and the 3D viewports using the trackpad on your laptop. However, this is still not the optimal way to navigate 3D space, which is challenging enough with a 3D button mouse. Therefore, it is recommended that you invest in a USB mouse to attach it to your laptop and a mat to place your mouse on. It doesn't need to be an expensive mouse, it just needs to have three buttons, including the scroll wheel, and it can cost you as little as $8. It can also benefit if you have a larger laptop with a number pad, as the number pad keys can make navigation a little more easier. And lastly, it is important to be aware of your battery life when using Blender, even if your laptop can use Blender for higher level tasks such as rendering, you always need to remember the battery life if you're not attached to the mains. Blender can drain the battery over most laptops quicker than almost any game you play, depending on what are you using Blender for. While using Blender for more straightforward tasks such as modeling, low poly objects or organizing your scene, this will not use up too much of your battery. Rendering animations will drain it faster than you can imagine. In conclusion, using a laptop for Blender is entirely possible, so as long as your device meets the minimum hardware requirement and has a compatible operating system, while a 3-button mouse and a larger display may make navigation in the software easier, it is still possible to use Blender on a laptop with a trackpad and a smaller display. However, it is important to keep in mind that Blender can be a resource-intensive application and may drain your battery quickly, so it is recommended to consistently have your laptop plugged in to ensure you don't damage the battery in the long term. Overall, Blender is a powerful tool for creating 3D models and animations, and with the right device, you can bring your creativity ideas to life on the go.